Just a short video showing Final Cut Pro 7 working under Yosemite uh, public beta. Um, this is public beta 10.10, 14A2991. Um, so here's Final Cut Pro, you'll see it's virtuous version 7, I haven't yet updated it. Um, but I've updated um, by putting on um, my Canon EOS plugin, which allows me to capture. So here it's loading up quite quickly. I haven't done anything else to it. I haven't tinkered with it. It just, for me, luckily, so far, it works. Um, Yosemite looks like quite a nice new operating system. So here I go and uh, just quickly to just save the project. But here I go and. Uh, do a log and transfer from uh, an SD card which has been recorded to uh, via my Canon um, TLSR um, using the Canon plugin 1.5. So it's playing back, great. I haven't had any crashes so far, which is good. Here's it ingesting footage, turning it to ProRes. Uh, just give it a second. There it goes, yep, into the browser. And I can play around that in the viewer. Yeah, that's good, okay, yeah, it fast forwards, does all the keyboard commands you'd expect, chucks it down to the timeline. All good, yeah. Did it a few times, oh, sorry, I'm messing around with the keyboard there. Plays back, no probs. And here I just go and open up an existing project um, carried out under a different operating system, but just to test out more of a complex project. Um, so I think I did reconnect some of my media previously, but there's a few things that are showing up still. So just to show you that I can kind of reconnect media. Whereabouts is it? Yeah, it's on the external hard drive. Found that one. And so it seems to be skipping through okay, different sources of media. Just putting in an out point around to the titles there, and I'll just render it out. Um, so this is on an iMac, um, 2.9 gigahertz, I think from about 2011, the iMac. Um, just for trying it out, end destination probably is going to be a MacBook Pro Retina. Um, I'll just rent, just rent out that portion there. So yeah, it'll be a, a MacBook Pro. So I've got a, a fast power horse computer at home. So it's not m for majorly for video editing. It's more for image work on the travels. But um, if it works, Final Cut Pro Seven, that's that's boost. I have got Final Cut Pro X, but ten I haven't used it yet. Um, but my main concern was if I get a new MacBook Pro and it's got Mavericks, which this works under as well, I've tested it, and I want to go to Yosemite, am I stuck on Mavericks? And so far from what I've seen here, it's working. I suppose whether it works in the final release, we don't know. Apple might introduce something that stops it working, but so far it looks okay. So it's just rendering out that short section of video here to show that works. Um, I do like Final Cut Pro 7, I was a pro end trainer for it, so I'd like to keep using it rather than moving over to CS Premiere, for example. So that's exported that. Uh, I'll just close down the... Yeah, so it's playing back the rendered portion OK. No problems, it did have sound on it, I'm not sure if the sound's come out on this recording. I was using uh, I show you a beta version on your free Yosemite recording to, to carry out the screen recording. It seemed to work okay. So here I quit Final Cut Pro. I've exported it quickly to the desktop. And the other program that I find absolutely crucial at the moment is Compressor. I don't really use any of the Final Cut Studio Suite, but Compressor I use quite a lot. I'm not very keen to, to buy a new version of it. Um, so here it is. 
Um, check the exported file there. Um, okay, I don't want to always do this. And check it on. Find the right place. And I think I'll go and select H264. It's the output codec. Ready for YouTube. Great, submit. Now, I'm just going to choose this computer, but I do normally set up a, is it called a QMaster um, render setup. Now, that's something that's interesting because I know in Mavericks it doesn't work, but um, let's see, get started here, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's just processing that. But I just wanted to just see if the QMaster functions, I think, I go to the, yeah, system preferences. And there's Apple Keymaster, and I think Mavericks it doesn't load up, um, but in Yosemite it did seem to load up. So I presume that you can set up a virtual cluster to use all the cores and uh, virtual cores and processor to speed up the rendering, to split things up. Um, but yeah, it seems to work okay. So things all look good for removed Yosemite so far.